Okay, since we already made our bank reconciliation, so we cannot generalize entries on the on, on bank statement or bank account because bank has their own system, they will adjust. So they will just send us the bank statement. All we have to know uh, have to do is to adjust the transaction in into our books. We are responsible for our books. We are not responsible with the bank statements or banking system, right? So we will adjust entries that are related to our books. So this is the cash book side of the bank reconciliation statement. So we will make entries. So number first, we receive dividend. So when we receive dividend and we have to record it, the entry would be cash, which is 900, cash to dividend 900. You may write it dividend revenue here because in normal circumstances dividend means that you pay dividend right so this word is you can add it revenue so that you can understand that okay this is the cash inflow that is coming to our business so revenue is already already when revenue increase when we call this credit when cash increase which is asset increase called debit so entry would be cash to dividend revenue and this is a description that receives a receipt of dividend revenue we recorded this one and then we record this one okay now the bank collection of account receivable when we collect the receivable the entry would be cash to accounts receivable 2100 right well done if your answer is if you correctly guess this one then thumbs up to you guys and then the interest revenue we didn't record it yet now we have to record it so generalize this entry interest revenue just pause the video solve it here and answer and match the answer accordingly so interest revenue we receive the revenue we receive cash so our entry would be cash to interest revenue right because the revenue increase it is credit cash increase it's asset asset increase debit so cash increase debit revenue increase credit and then the correction of book error we made so what is the book error we establish an account that is we make a reverse entry because previously we charges uh, we paid uh, sorry we recorded the entry as accounts payable to cash 510 510 if this was not the error we would be recording accounts payable 150 to cash 150 we paid supplier 150 dollar right instead we recorded it's a human error we recorded 510 so in order to make the effect that this entry would remain same the balance is 350 that we need to reverse so entry would be reverse so that's why entry would be reversed as cash to accounts payable with 360 with 360 right when you post down into your uh, t account for example this is the cash the accounts payable right so you recorded accounts payable is credited with 510 and cash is uh, so accounts payable debited with 510 and cash is debited uh, credited with 510 and now when you make this reverse entry it would be cash is debited with 360 and accounts payable is credited with 360 so when you just write it down the balance here the balance is which is the greater side it is 150 which is the greater side it is 150 so it exactly correspond to our original entry that is if we correctly added our uh, entry it would be accounts payable 150 cash 150 if you put accounts payable is debited if you if you see the effect net effect accounts payable is debited with 150 so you see the debit balance of 150 cash balance credit balance 150 so you see the credit balance of 150 so that's why it is accounting uh, through accounting entries we normalize this error
okay so we successfully recorded this as well the next one is is the service charges so the bank charges us the twenty dollar so service charges if they are expense it means our cash is deducted so the entry would be service charges to cash or you can also write, write it down service charges or you can also write it down miscellaneous expenses both are correct if you write it down service charges to cash answer would be good or correct okay the next one is non-sufficient fund how we deal with that non-sufficient fund that we received a check and we recorded from account receivable we uh, from account receivable or customer we receive a check when we receive a check we made the entry that we receive cash because check is also kind of cash so we just write it down cash to accounts receivable right so what happened here the check is bounced or nsf non sufficient in our books we already recorded that we receive cash in order to nullify this is this one we make a reverse entry entry would be account receivable to cash it looks like that we sold the goods on 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 sorry it looks like that that our customer are we pay our customer money right fifty dollars but this is not the case why because we make a reverse entry to nullify this effect you see that right so entry would be account receivable fifty dollar and then cash fifty dollar and our last one is the etf payment of insurance expense expense rises and we pay through our bank account which is the cash book so we will be recording that that the insurance expense to cash right so this is how we generalize the entry so in summary of the various reconciliation items so if you see these kind of items remember this is the always concept for example you always add deposits in transit to the bank balance and how you find out the bank balance the bank will send you a bank statement on the bank statement you have your bank balance always add deposit in transit always subtract outstanding checks and then you see accordingly add or subtract the banking errors right if bank wrongly charges us then we deduct it if bank excessive charges uh, uh, sorry banks you know make a mistake and charges us less then we add it to make it to make it a full payment and then book balance we always add bank collections interest revenue and ets received remember these are not interest expense these are the revenues these are the receipts okay etf receipts and we always subtract service charges nsf checks not sufficient checks and then eft payments and then we add or subtract the errors accordingly right so if you understand all this one if, if you understand the logic then you don't need to memorize or go through these this slide otherwise if you don't understand them then just remember the the this slide serve as a formula that you add deposit in transit to the bank balance you subtract the outstanding checks and you deal with the errors accordingly similarly you add collections bank collection on your behalf interest revenue EF, eft receipts and you subtract service charges bank service charges non-sufficient funds and the eft payments and then you deal with the errors human errors or book errors accordingly so we have another illustration as well so i just want you to do it by yourself and match the answer in our next slides accordingly if you don't understand that then let's do it on our zoom meeting right i'm just going to remove it so just pause the video and try to solve it by yourself okay here we go we have a bank and we have a book 
you can also write it down in, in you write it down in this format as well so bank balance is 1500 so uh, uh, so the logan's cash account shows cash balance of 3752 so you write, write it down the book balance 3752 so listed here on the bank statement that the bank collected 820 what is the tagline here you add in your book side the collection the bank collection of the receiver and service charges $14 so you less service charges on the, on the bank side and the non-sufficient fund was 240 and also bank charges you 20 as a printing of the check as well so these all belongs to book side so here you write it down right and then the review of the cash record logan added identifies 31st of july deposit in transit when there whenever there is a deposit in transit it must be added into the bank balance bank statement balance right and outstanding check always less from the bank balance so you see it here okay here right and move further we have another that error that is log on recorded for $50 check for a salary of a part-time employee as 54 it means log on has to write 450 but instead he write 54 so what is the difference between this one so this is a uh, book side error or bank side this is the book side error so it means you charge is less it means you will add more to your book that you so that's why it is And now when you just see the adjustment, the adjusted balance is 3810, the bank balance is also adjusted for 3810. And now you make the entries. The entries are your bank collected cash on your behalf, it means the cash is deposited into your, into your bank account. The entry would be cash to account receivable, right? The last one is service charges you can add it into service charges or, or miscellaneous expenses so miscellaneous expenses or or the service charges to cash right the third one is non-sufficient fund so previously it is recorded as when the check come into your bill uh, check is treated as a cash when cash or check come into your business you record it as cash to accounts receivable now you make a reverse entry and this would be Account receivable to cash, and now the printing cost. So you can say that the sell uh, twenty dollar is 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 the printing cost. Okay, we skip that one here. Let me just write it down here. So the check pr uh, uh, printed check charges. So you also add it to miscellaneous expenses or the service charges from the banks so that's why it is 20 plus 14 is 34 right or you could say that service charges expenses include both service charges and printing of the checkbook as well right and then at the end we have a salary which is will be understated four hundred and eighty six dollar and when we charge the salary because salary is a payment that's why it is negative so we charge the salary again in in addition to this 54 we have to charge more 486 dollar and then and the entry would be salary expense to cash 